Well, okay, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to attach two devices that uh, hopefully you just assembled. Um, our dolly drive mechanism here with the gear motor in line, along with our idler dolly device. So I went ahead and grabbed a, uh, I think this is a six inch piece of our aluminum tubing. You can obviously, uh, for the purposes of this video, that uh, we can see both ends, I've chosen just a short piece here. Um, but you can choose obviously any, any kind of length. Tubing works really, really well for building uh, wheeled dollies that will run on PVC pipe or, or any other type of tubing you might have. Uh, just because of the versatility, you can clamp things to it, you can rotate things, you can orienta orientate things very, very quickly. So, but we're going to go ahead and begin here. So first thing we want to do on our drive mechanism is we want to actually take out this drive shaft. So we're going to go in here to the shaft coupler, loosen that up, I'm going to pull this whole assembly out. You can see there the ball bearing will come out with it. And set that off to the side. Next we're going to decide how we want to have our clamping hub orientated. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and put it right like that, just at an angle so we can still have, actually I'm going to put it on this side, sorry. So we can have access to the, the screw on the side, which is going to clamp down. So we're going to go ahead and put that down. Go ahead and run our Allen through there. And this sometimes will take a little bit of patience just because once you have it all assembled, sometimes trying to gain access to the inside to put screws in is not the easiest thing in the world. Oops, as you can see there, I'm dropping some screws, but that's okay. And another one. There we go. Slide that one in. And Two more to go. This one is actually the most difficult one to put in it's because your the shaft is a little bit in the way, but if you're using a ball nose driver, it makes it much, much easier. There we go. And like I said, we're not going to tighten these up all the way just so we have a little bit of room to work here. And put that last one in right there. Pull that right there and tighten it. I'm going to go ahead and cinch them down just a little bit. There we go. Now we can go ahead and attach our tube, slide it all the way through. You want to slide it all, obviously it will go all the way through like this, but you don't want to make contact with your drive shaft. So I would slide it all the way through. So maybe it's about an eighth inch through the, uh, past the black plastic. And right there, go ahead and cinch that down. Now you can come back in on these screws and tighten those down. Once again, you don't want to tighten the socket head cap screws down so tight that they deform the plastic. The plastic's very tough, but you can certainly tighten them down so tight that um, it, will, it will deform the plastic. So, Next, we're going to go reinstall our drive. Slide that through. Make sure it's lined up with the D-shafting on the D-shaft on the gear motor. So there you've got one end ready to go. We're going to go ahead and set that off to the side. We'll now attach our idler system. Like I said, this one is a little easier to gain access to the opposite screw sides. There we go. There we go. Once again, we're going to leave these a little bit loose. And 
until we tighten this down. Nice thing about this too, you want to run this on a flat surface so this is nice and square right here. Slide that through, square everything up. Like I said, you want to be able to you can come all the way through this part, as you can see here, which depending on your application. So go ahead and bring it all the way to the end right here. Make sure it's nice and pressed down on the shaft. Make sure it's on a flat surface. Come in here and tighten that. You can see here, we're going to tighten that clamp. And there you go. Obviously, this is much shorter than something you might build um, for a dolly. And then obviously, you'll put another tube in, and we'll actually demonstrate that right now. So once you have that, you can actually, like I said, very, very easy to adjust. We're going to now grab one of our 90 degree. Actually, we're going to grab two things here and slide one of these on or use for something else here. And I'll show you in just a bit. Put on one of these, another tube. Go ahead and clamp that. Now we're going to go ahead and slide our side back on. Make sure it's nice and level. Just tighten that back. And now you can see you've got pretty good versatility here. You can move things around. And what we ended up doing is building another system identical to this on the opposite side minus one of the drive. You actually only need, you can run you know, two or three or even four drive mechanisms on every corner of your, of your dolly. It's not really necessary depending on how much power and what kind, of, what kind of weight you're trying to move. But in most applications, one would certainly do. So you'd actually build two more idler systems, same setup here, put them on the opposite end. And like I said, I'll say it last time. This is obviously much smaller than something you might end up building. And the nice thing about these right here is you can slide using tubes, but you can slide and make any kind of adjustment you might need. So therefore, if you had another application where you wanted to put another component, come in here and we'll tighten that down just so we can add something to it easily. Come in with another piece of channel, something like this. And then we'll Drop these screws down in here. So, mount that on. Now you've easily mounted another another piece of channel, which you can obviously maneuver around um, easily. However, you need to to mount. So, like I said, adding components is very, very easy, very versatile, uh, especially when utilizing tubing. Channel works great as well, um, especially once you get out to the end and you need to start mounting cameras, things like that. Channel is, works fantastic. It's a very light, extremely stiff system. So, there you go.